Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back for another episode of the $1 Thrift Challenge. This is my favorite series to film with you guys. I have so much fun watching this money grow over the weeks and I feel like you guys really enjoy it too. So I'm happy to be back with another episode. We're on episode 13, which is absolutely crazy. We started with a dollar about 13 weeks ago and now at the end of this episode, we're gonna have so much money. It's been a really, really good week or week and a half for us for the dollar thrift challenge so let's jump into the things that have sold this week before we go thrifting together to find new things to put into the challenge that will make us even more money and grow this money in that full year that we've been doing this project so today starting the episode we have one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and twenty three cents in our challenge bank but we sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 items. We have sold 12 items this week and a lot of them for a good chunk of change. So let's start with the first piece. And the first thing that sold as part of the Dollar Thrift Challenge is this Cacique bra. So I picked this up at my local Goodwill for about $3. We sold it for $21. So at the end of the day, I made $15.30, bringing our challenge total up to $1,365.53. Next up, if you've seen some of my videos and have been following along with my reselling what sold videos, then you would have seen that I sold the Free People and Jeffrey Campbell collab boots. These were a risky venture for us. They cost us about $60 but I sold them within a day or two for $170 to one of you guys. So thank you guys so much for buying them. And from that sale, we made $136 going back into the challenge bank to make it $1,501.53. So this is definitely the highest our challenge bank has ever been. And then I sold the La Sport Sack bag that I picked up in a previous video for $50. One of my friends on here, you guys told me the, the specific name of this bag and I actually raised the price from 35 to $50 and somebody bought it outright of $50. So we made $40. So the challenge bank goes up to $1,541.53. And then we sold the North Face Denali jacket. I got this at my Uptown Cheapskate and it actually sold for quite a bit less than I was expecting it to. I know I sold some men's Denali jackets from the North Face before for quite a bit more. So I wonder if it's more desirable for men to own it than the women but I sold it for $36 and then we made $28.80 from it, bringing the challenge bank up to $1,570.33. And then I sold a really large bundle to one of you guys. And in that bundle, she picked four different items that were from the Dollar Thrift Challenge. So since I did a bundle price, I kind of had to go through and see how much I would have actually charged with the bundle amount for each piece. So the first thing that sold in that bundle was the Lily Pulitzer dress. I picked this Lily Pulitzer dress up. I had it listed at 65 and I would have kept that price the same for how much I charged for the whole bundle. So I sold it for $65. We made $50.70 from that piece. And then the Linda Lundstrom jacket that I picked up, I kind of picked up on a whim. It's a Canadian designer. I thought it was a gorgeous piece and that sold in the bundle as well. And it was listed at $150, but in the bundle, I was charging her $106 for that item. So from the $106, we made $82.18. And then also part of the bundle is the Steve Madden clutch I picked up at my local Goodwill. It was listed for $30. I would have priced it at $25 inside that bundle. So we made it $19.50 from that. And then the Love Your Melon hat that I picked up in the bins not too long ago was listed at 20. I charged her $15 in the bundle, so we made $11.70. So for all four of those items in that bundle, we made $164.08, bringing our challenge bank up to $1,734.41. But it doesn't stop there, guys. We have one, two, three, four more things that sold. So keep on hanging on, buckle up. We have a couple more. Also, if you guys are liking the series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram as well. So the next thing that sold was the Lucky Brand wedges I picked up in the bins. They were in brand new condition. We sold them for $15. We made 12. I wasn't expecting them to be a high sale. So $15, I was totally happy with that. So $1,746.41 is what our challenge bank is up to now. And then we sold the Lululemon cropped leggings. Jeremy sold these for $40 on his Poshmark. We made $30.50. Bring the challenge bank up to $1,776.91. 
And then Jeremy also sold the free people jumpsuit, give a holler to Jeremy for doing some good work. And he sold it for $63. And so we made $48.68 from that sale. Challenge bank, $1,825.59. And then the last thing, I just sold these yesterday, is this pair of Birkenstocks that I picked up all the way back in Oregon. And these have taken a little bit to sell, but now that we're heading into warm weather, I am gonna be on the lookout for some Birkenstocks. These sold for $40 and we made $30.28. So going into thrifting today, we have $1,855.87. We made $500 for the challenge bank in just this one week. In the previous couple weeks, we've been selling about $100 a week. So we definitely took a giant leap forward this week. And so I am really excited to go thrifting. I have a few things that I've been accumulating from small thrift trips when I've been poking in to film other videos at other different thrift stores. But today I really wanna focus on the Dollar Thrift Challenge. I wanna find some really good items and hopefully things that will sell quickly just like all these other pieces have. So without further ado, let's go thrifting together. Here I am making my way over to the new racks. They have these lined up kind of just on the outside of the racks right when you walk in. And here I am finding a pair of Harley Davidson jeans. They're marked at $12, which is a little high, but I'm gonna put them in my cart and then look up comps. Um, spoiler alert, I don't end up buying these because the comps just aren't good enough to spend $12 on them. And then here I am finding something that I will take home. And I'm sorry for this terrible shot, I was so excited, but this is from Buff Bunny. And I've never found that before. I'll talk a little bit more about it in the haul, but that's an exciting find. And I love going to these new racks. I always find the best things on the new racks. And then I go to the home goods and man, is this not the cutest little pie dish? I was so tempted to buy this. I would never use it, but it's just so cute. It was only $10 and I love the little strawberries on it. And then I don't know if it's because I grew up in Amish country in the middle of Indiana, but this just was like so cute to me. So very homey, it's a country crafts, kind of like little cookie jar. And it has all these baskets and little cutesy things on it. And their home goods section was just really good today. And I just found so many cute little like just very unique pieces and it was just adorable and I just felt very excited to be looking through it all. Um, I did find this really um, creepy looking Cabbage Patch Kid doll, little like lamp and Cabbage Patch Kids can sell for a lot. I looked up the lamp and a lot of them were just selling for like 20 bucks so that wasn't a really good find. And then this long burger bread basket, I actually thrifted in the bins for a dollar, they went in 25. And then these cute little Nike shoes were just so adorable for $6, I wanted to buy them but I didn't. So I just got back from the Goodwill and I only found like two or three things there. So I have a couple things from things I've been picking up and I have those two or three things from the Goodwill. But Jeremy asked me if I wanna to go to Uptown Cheapskate and I was like, of course I do. I find the best things there for the Dollar Thrift Challenge and I actually have so many points racked up there that I think I either have, I can either choose $15 off my next order or 20% off of my next purchase. So I have a good deal and I feel like I should use that for the dollar thrift challenge. So we'll see if we can find anything. I have been there pretty recently, but with Jeremy there too, maybe we'll be able to look through more of the men's stuff. So that's kind of what I'm hoping, but he's gonna go with me. So let's go thrift at Uptown Cheapskate too. So we're in the dressing room in the Uptown Cheapskate showing you what I found. These are a Patagonia pair of like corduroy pants. The comps on them only looked like they were selling for around $25. So I could not spend $23 to make $2 and lose stuff to the Poshmark cut. And then I found a better sweater here, but $38 wasn't on sale, size extra small, just wasn't gonna be worth it. A second better sweater. This one was a size medium, only $32.99. And I did have that 20% off, but this one had two stains here on the front. They're gonna be really hard to see on camera, but in person I could see them a little bit more. So I left those behind. 
these boots I'm, I'm actually gonna pick up they're gonna be in the haul and then this Patagonia pair of shorts I thought I was gonna leave so I showed you it real good here in this clip but I end up picking them up and I think I'm gonna get them for my little brother so I don't think they're gonna be part of the challenge they only cost $55 originally so that is why so those are some of the things there and then we're gonna say hi but also I'll see you back at my house in a second Okie dokie, it is the next day. I did end up finding quite a few things at the Autan Cheapskate. I'm really glad that we ended up going together and that I had Jeremy to bounce things off of. And I'm glad that we had that 20% off as well because I ended up spending about $70 at Uptown Cheapskate. So I would have spent even more without the 20% off. But also I had $150, $160 of in-store credit built up. So I still have another like $60 of in-store credit. So I will be going back sometime soon, but I have things from the Goodwill and I have things from the Uptown Cheapskate. So which one do you want to start with? I'm thinking let's start with Goodwill because I went there first, but I actually spent about $60 at Goodwill, even though I only got two or three things because I found some things for Jeremy. And then I also found this really beautiful piece of art for my mother-in-law. So I bought that for her. I'm going to put a picture in because it's a little bit too big to try to show you guys. Um, but I spent $20 on the piece of art and then I did buy Jeremy three different um, kind of more name brand pieces there. So I only spent a few dollars on the things for the Dollar Thrift Challenge. So let's jump into those. So the first thing I found at the Goodwill was this little red tank top and it's from the brand Aloe. I don't always pick up their little like tank tops because I know that they won't sell for as much. But since this was in a really kind of more fun style, it has a mesh back. It is one of those more closer fitting styles, but I do think it's a newer piece from them. And for or like a runner, I thought this was a really kind of fun style. Um, I thought it would be worth it. And I also only spent $3.99 for it. So since it was $3.99, I was like, okay, let's go for it. Since it's part of the Dollar Thrift Challenge, I might only be able to resell this. I'll probably list it around 25. I'll probably only make about $10 from this at the end of the day but I thought it was worth it for the challenge. And then when I first walked in, this is so exciting. I've never found this brand before. It is something I've been wanting to find. I don't know if it's a really exciting resale brand, but I do follow Hope Scope and she talks about this brand all the time and it's Buff Bunny. And I did not realize that it was gonna be popular enough for me to find in my area, but look at this really cute little Buff Bunny kind of sweatshirt hooded piece. It honestly feels like scuba material, like neoprene kind of moment. And then look at the back. This back is really cute. It's like a nice crossover detail at the bottom. And then here's the Buff Bunny logo. In case you don't know it, maybe you do, but if you don't, it looks like a little bunny inside of that B. Isn't that so cute? So I found this and it's in great condition, like really good condition. And it's in a size medium. So at my Goodwill, everything that's like a top is usually like five or $6. So I paid $5.99 for this. And for the Dollar Thrift Challenge, it should do well. I'm hoping to resell this probably around 35. Maybe I can do higher than that. I, this is my first time finding Buff Bunny and trying to sell it. So maybe I'll be able to list around 50. That'd be great. And then the last piece that I found is probably not one that's going to sell very quickly but it is a really nice piece and it's a really fun color. So maybe going into spring will be good. I picked it up. It's new with tags from Sonnet James. And now this brand I had not heard of. It looks like it's from California, right? Yeah, it's a Californian brand. Hadn't heard of it, but because of that tag, I decided to look it up and it was new with tags, but it is a really nice brand and they make some really pretty dresses. So all my dresses at my Goodwill are $7.99. That's what I paid for this. I found this on a new rack. I always go through those new racks. I always make a beeline, but this is a really fun maxi length dress that has like this kind of wider ribbing. And then they always, it says a play dress underneath it, but comps for this looked actually really good. Like they might, I might be able to resell this for around $75 and that might be where I end up listing it. Hope to make like 50 bucks. It's a really cute dress and then it has a slit on the side here. It's beautiful. And I like it has long sleeves as well. It's a long sleeve maxi dress that's new with tags. So that was a great pickup. I also found the buff bunny on a new rack as well. So definitely always check your new racks. That's where I find the best things because I don't have to search through the racks of things I've been looking at for weeks to find the things that are new. They're just right there for me and I love that. And then I, you guys know I love home decor. This isn't for the, the challenge, but I still wanted to show you guys. I found this really cute 
little house with this ceramic blue top. I found a similar piece to this with a pink lid that I loved having on my TV console for Christmas time. So this is literally from the same series, but it's got this really fun, intricate like roof. And I got this and they match and I just think it's so sweet. So one side has like an actual store. This one's a bakery. I had so many cute cookie jars at this Goodwill. I grabbed this for $3.99 and it matches the one I have that's pink. So I'm thinking a cute little Christmas village moment is what I'm going for. And I love this. This one has a lot of cracks and a lot of different like nicks on it, but I don't really care about that very much. So this one is a bakery. I think the other one I have is a general store and they're both adorable. So. I got that for myself. And then the last thing that I got at the Goodwill to resell is this mug. I think it, I think it's so pretty. Like I don't need another mug like this cause I find them more often than other people probably do. But it's this a really nice handmade mug. You can tell that it's definitely handmade. Then it has a really nice blue glaze here at the bottom. And I like that it doesn't go all the way down. They lift that lip. But the thing that's really funny to me is the bottom of this mug. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, comment down below what you think this looks like. To me, it's somebody with wings, with hair, jumping over the moon maybe and holding a wand. I'm not quite certain what they're going for, but guys, let me know. What do you think that is? But this was only 50 cents. And for this, I know how long it took them to make this. Uh, I did take ceramics in college and I do think that this is a really nice piece. So I was happy with that. And 50 cents, I think for sure, yes. And I like that it has a place to rest your thumb. And I'm not sure if I'll sell this on Poshmark or Mercari or eBay, but it's a really nice piece. So I decided to pick it up. Okay, now let's get into the things I picked up at the Uptown Cheapskate. I did buy quite a few items and I didn't spend very much money. So we love to hear that. So at my Uptown Cheapskate, a lot of things were on sale. They always are when I go in there. Red stickered items were 50% off, yellow 25% off, and blue or green were both 70% off, 75% off. Um, so this one was a blue sticker. So it was 75% off. It's a pair of Lululemon leggings. And I have looked at these every time I've gone in for probably the past six months. These were originally $25.99. And the reason why I haven't picked them up is because they have the Washington DC SoulCycle logo on them. But this time with the 20% off, it was just worth it. I think I spent like $6 maybe on this pair of Lululemon leggings. They're in a size four. They still have the pull tag on them, which is really good. They're in excellent condition. And I do think that I should be able to make a profit on these, especially at that lower price point. They're so nice and they are a black pair of Lululemon leggings. These ones definitely aren't their line. They're their more like structured pair. Oh, it's slipping my mind right now. But for $6, I think I can probably resell those at least 35, hopefully. Hopefully a little bit more, we'll see. But I thought it was worth it this time around. And then I was excited about this because we found these for Jeremy. If you guys saw my um, Philadelphia video, then you knew that we went to Lululemon and got him his first Lululemon items. And Lululemon is pricey for men, especially I feel like, but we picked up this pair of Lululemon shorts for him. I think these actually might be swim trunks, but I was jazzed. They are in a size, these were $17.99, but with a yellow sticker. So I think we got these for like $12. Definitely a great pickup, very happy with those for him. Jeremy got like five or six new pieces of clothing yesterday and I'm a little jealous, if you know what I mean. But this next piece is a piece we went back and forth on for a little bit, but we decided to pick them up and it's this pair of New Attacks Patagonia shorts. They don't have a super high resale value because they only cost $55 originally. I'm deciding if I want to put these into the thrift challenge or if I just want to gift these to my little brother because they're his size but these are the five inch Bayou Blue baggies shorts. So they are a swim trunk, but I love Patagonia. So we'll see what I do with them. They were supposed to be $15.99. And then I think I got these for like $12 and 79 cents as well, if I remember correctly, 20% off of that. So got the Patagonia shorts and the Lululemon shorts, probably for the boys in my life. And then Jeremy actually found this, but I decided to pick it up. I really enjoy selling the North Face. I don't normally do as well with their fleeces as I do with their outerwear pieces that are more like coats and jackets. But this one was a really fun kind of color combo. I like the white and then the purple and apparently people like this as well. I did some looking up of comps and I think I can sell this for at least 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks I'm gonna hope for. This is in a women's size small 
and I love that coloring. I thought it was really cute. So we found this and it had a red tag on it. It was $22.99 and we got it for about $11 and then with the 20% off of that, probably like $9, $8, something like that. So I do think again, worth it. And all the money that we spent on these pieces came out of my in-store credit. So we didn't actually pay anything out of pocket for anything from the Uptown Cheapskate. So I'm not going to take the money out of our challenge bank because that money is coming out of other videos I'm filming as well. Y'all, I was so excited to find these. These were not on sale at all, but I did not care. I was all about it. I found a pair of Madewell jeans and I really enjoy selling Madewell jeans and they do not sit for me. These sell pretty quickly. Some of their like tops will sit for me, but not, not their jeans usually. These are the curvy high rise skinny crop jeans. And I know that that's a newer thing. They haven't had curvy for that long. And so I'm really excited about that. These are in size 25. So a little bit of a small size, but look how cute these are. These are a nice little kind of like mid blue wash, a little bit of a darker blue wash. Then it has a little bit of distressing down here at the foot. I think they're really adorable. If these were my size, I would definitely wear them. They're so cute. It's a high rise and I just thought those were absolutely adorable. So grabbed those. They had them marked at $15.99. So I got them for $12.79 12 I think is what it comes out to. So those I'm really excited about. I would be shocked if those are still here next week when we do the next episode of the Dollar Thrift Challenge. And then I have two more things and they're pretty freaking good. This first one I'm excited about. This is a Harley Davidson little denim jacket. Look how cool that is guys. Like look at that little Harley logo. This is in a size medium. And then look at the back here. <laughs> it's so cool. I like that it's not a specific location. A lot of their things are specific locations, but this is just a big patch on the back. And then all of the buttons even have the Harley Davidson logo on them. I think that it is so nice. I'm really happy with it. And then it also has the Harley Davidson logo up here above the pocket. So such a cool piece. I love the wash on this. It looks older, it looks distressed. It's really, really nice. I would say it looks like a men's, huh. and I didn't even see this, but it has a nice leather logo down here at the bottom as well. So cool. I would say it's a men's medium, but it's a little bit cropped. So perfect for a woman. I love it. It's so cool. So I picked that up. So they were charging $29.99 for this, but it had a green sticker on it. So exciting. So this was 70% uh, off of 30. And then I also got another 20% off on top of that. So not too bad at all. And it is such a cool piece. So I was really excited that we got that. And then I always like to save something good for the end. And this is probably the best piece I picked up in today's haul. It should probably resell for the most amount of money. I do need to do a little bit more research on it, but it is this pair of boots. Now they don't look like anything super special off the bat, but they are a nice like leather suede with this kind of, I think it's a faux, yeah, definitely a faux fur. But these are from the brand Stuart Weitzman. And I don't know if I've ever picked up Stuart Weitzman. I've looked at different things from them. I found a couple different things from them, but they've always been marked up a lot. I think I might have one pair of shoes from Stuart Weitzman, but these look like they're a newer style from them. These were marked at $40, but they had a green sticker. So I got them for 70, 75% off of 40. I think in total, I spent like eight or $9 for these boots, which is an absolute freaking steal. They should be able to resell for a good amount. Stuart Weitzman is a really nice brand. I think that they are size six is what it says in here. And comps for Stuart Weitzman boots like this were all over the place. So I'm gonna have to do some research. Even if these sit for a couple months until we get into cold weather again, I'm okay with that as long as we sell them for a good price. I'm thinking for these, I can probably resell them around $100, maybe $150, but also some of them were going for like $50. So no matter what, it was definitely worth it at the like $8, $9 price point that I got them at. But man, I'm thinking these could be a really good resell. I'm hoping it could be great if they could be $100. I'd be very happy with that. So that's the last piece from the Uptown Cheapskate. So those are the pieces in today's Dollar Thrift Challenge episode. If you guys are enjoying the series, please let me know down below. 
Also, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Both of those things will help the YouTube algorithm show my videos to more people, and I would absolutely love to have more friends here in my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Dollar Thrift Challenge. Bye.